Hey guys, we're watching OKKO, OK Let Us Be Heroes with Enid. And if you want us to watch till the end and be our best friend, then leave a like on this video and get it to 10,000 likes. And if you want to see our full commentary with our friends KO. Hi! And the blue guy. Hey, what's up, bro? Then go to our Patreon over at patreon.com slash spilling the milk. It's me, Enid. If you don't subscribe, I won't be here anymore. Hi, Mr. Logic. I'm a little overdue for my haircut. I love this. This representation for a child who hasn't got his hair cut in a while. He's just become a broom head. <laughs> Wait a minute. <gasps> You're a robot! I'm very anti haircut. Like, a lot of barbers are phoning it in. Definitely. Uh, awaken my creation. He's like the first productive like thing that Boxman has created the entire series. Boxman's plan is to just give all of them yee yee ass haircuts so they perform worse in battle. <laughs> so they fucking kill themselves. The music in this is so good, bro. They got the jams. Dude. Like, why do they just pull out the craziest like music out of nowhere in this show? <laughs> Yin and yang, bro. Are they creating an industrial complex right now? Like they're just manufacturing their reason to exist? <laughs> hey there, Mr. Gar is the name. What beautiful lip. Is this like the POV of like your Animal Crossing villager entering your village for the first time? Like you're disgusting disheveled, like been working all day on your village. <laughs> He found purpose. Johnny Bravo looking at Scar is basically the same character as Johnny Bravo if he had no confidence. The ultra mega junk fish. Impressive, isn't it? The super mega junk fish. Is he looking at Matt Watson right now? <laughs> he looked at his eyes. Destroying the plaza is not a logical course of action. Ben Shapiro would not agree with this. Logically, he's wrong. I'm about to flip out. I'm kind of empathizing right now. Junkfish looks like a failed Transformers ripoff. It's like back during the phase where they were trying to just make transforming robots of literally anything. It's a fish, but it also turns into a submarine. Whoa, so cool. You can submerge it in real water. That's what you do, right? Haircut robot. Yaoi? Toxic yaoi? Toxic, wholesome yaoi. I guess it technically is grooming. My villainous plans ruined and Mr. Logic Betrayer! Oh, so this is why Boxman only makes robots that are dumber than him. Without any possible chance of defying me. Yo, they're so cute. So if they came out as babies, does that mean that the he breastfed them or no? I genuinely hope so. Good evening. I'm Dynamite Watkins, your local reporter slash anchor. Who's this character again? Oh, this is the reporter for Action News that she just said. Bro, I didn't know the news could be this entertaining. This is like drama alert, you know what I mean? Like it's some crazy entertaining news. And what of the mysterious Boxmore trucks that have been rolling through town at all hours of the night? Boxman's behind the convoy. Let's go truckers. Canada, Canada. I want the spicy hot breaking Boxmore news torn from my eyes immediately. It's it's like every single time a new character comes on screen, it's like it's like you you enter a new area in like a dungeon crawling game. You get that new song unlocked. Is this cheese not MP3? Yeah. The people need to hear the truth, and I'm gonna give it to them. What the? Who cut the power? Wait, Boxman paid off the news? It's just like real life. It's always funny whenever the show randomly gets political and it's like, I don't disagree with anything they're saying overtly, but it's it's just, it's always a little shocking like how on the nose it is sometimes. It's just a bunch of receipts for <gasps> the big cheese. Is he writing this shit off in his taxes? She's gonna audit Boxman Incorporated. <laughs> She's reporting Boxman to the IRS right now. Pull over and let us identify your cargo and... <gasps> Big cheese? Biggie cheese? I knew it. I knew it. It's my duty to investigate the truth for the sake of everyone in Lakewood Plaza Turbo. Chad has been thirsting after this woman, and I think she is the most beautiful OKKO okay character. Chad is going crazy right now. I'm in love with her. The power of journalism. The power of intimidating women. What was Daryl doing with those receipts? Uh, yeah. What was Daryl doing with those children? She literally has a stand, though. Yeah, she does have a power. Boxman supporting weapons. 
things from all over to build a new super bug. The breaking news is that Boxman is making a bigger robot. Isn't that every episode of the fucking show? Nah, she saved the day. She saved the day. She's slaying though. But I didn't do it alone. I had the support of loyal action news camera person Cam. She's crediting her, her cameraman. That's crazy. Genuinely one of the best characters in the show. <laughs> I'll show you all. He has a child. Baby box. The man. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> how could you? I thought I was your favorite son. <laughs> Look how goofy that thing looks. The baby looks like a Muppet. It looks like it eats people. It looks disturbing. I worked so hard to be daddy's favorite. Wait, he gets a race car bed? Damn, he really is the favorite. Holy shit. And he's whining. The spoiled oldest brother whines. Fuck you. You're the worst, KO. Ugh. Look at the face. Look at the face. They're trying to tame his uh, KO abilities. Good. No, too much. Uh, I'm sorry, KO. I love you. This is so cute. It's cute, but it's it also feels a little bit emotionally manipulative in a, in a weird way. You know what I mean? What is that thing? Oh my god, this is like when you're playing against the, the fucking baby Bowser Koopa things in Smash Bros. Like, it, he looks like, um... The Koopalings, bro. Oh, it's literally supposed to be that, for sure. Yeah, he's got the Bowser Jr. car, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. The toe attack was crazy. That was unnecessary. The animation is fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> This genuinely might be the best, like, raw action animation in, like, any Cartoon Network show ever. Like, we take it for granted once you're so far into the show, but it really is that good. Oh my god, he's really powering up here. The breast milk that he never had, dude. Gar was not breastfed, by the way. That's lore that you just learned. He can't be stopped. So is the point of the season going to be that they're going to make him use his TKO powers, but he's going to learn how to control them now? Yeah, maybe. Ah, oh, wait! This is JoJo. The world? What the fuck? That was literally... Why does he have a JoJo stand? Uh, hi! You. Crawling in my skin, these wounds, they will not heal. Oh. That was a beautiful cover, man. I need you, TKO. I need you. Fighting his inner self. Is he going to learn to befriend his inner self and grow as a person, as an adult? I mean, eight-year-old child? It's playtime. Whenever a new character appears, it does just feel like like a new enemy appeared. Their boss music starts playing. Very video game esque. You're supposed to be grounded, you hopeless dead Christ! <laughs> yes, daddy. Do you think Ian liked recording that line? Be yes, daddy. I love you, daddy. Why won't you just crap already? That was amazing! Genuinely Mob Psycho-esque, like, action animation. That was crazy, dude. They really saved the budget for this ep Oh my god! <laughs> Please! Thumbnail? Okay, KO escapes prison in these episodes. We just weren't thinking. No, you weren't. She's walking around like the old dude from Despicable Me that makes the fart ray or whatever. Vector? No, no, he's like Dr. Doomfist merch or something like that. He's like the old guy, not Vector. Oh, that guy. I know how to bring him back down. There's no need for any equipment. Only what's in here. Guys, the soundtrack is getting ready to pump it up, bro. Okay, KO. You are loved and appreciated. Hey, you are loved and appreciated. This is just the ending of Steven Universe Future. Spoils for Steven Universe Future. I haven't even seen Steven Universe Future, but this is totally just the ending of Steven Universe Future. So, let me use your powers, and I'll give you something that you want. A Game Boy Color. Is he gonna become a gamer? He wants to keep fighting. Give him a computer with COD. No more cage. No more cage. He's learning to work with himself, dude. That's beautiful. Deal? So edgy, dude. You couldn't even give him a bench? Like, you just gave him a punching bag, bro? <laughs> Wait, Kale has a headband now. That's crazy. He didn't have a headband before? No, no, no. That's the Mandela effect. This is the arc when he got his headband. No! 
Oh, he's got like baby toys. Parenthood isn't my plan, Boxman Jr. <laughs> Guys, they're playing the theme of the show. I repeat. Oh my god. Oh, it scared the crab apples out of me. Sorry, mommy. This show's so good. Sorry, mommy. I had to go to Alberta to pick up a pint of fucking Guinness. <laughs> no way. <laughs> He's so big. I just wanted to say, I'm very proud of you. Great hustle out there. Yo, look how beautiful his eyes are. That was beautiful. <laughs> I mean, the baby did die. It's a dead baby that they're mourning right now. <laughs> Dude, I love the fits. That. I know you never cared for Junior. You're going to the furnace for this one. That is not his normal attire. Why is he wearing that? That's what he wears every episode. What are you talking about? I ran you out to the floor. You what? Isn't that just the most evilest thing? He's getting successioned right now. Daryl evil arc? Question mark. Meet your new boss. There's a new daddy in town. There's a new daddy in town. <laughs> he has daddy on his belt. I think Ian, he did want to say daddy. Uh, it's good to be back. Now orange. Ew. Orange? He's orange. What? Did you have a good summer? And mime eating? Let the internet know about this. It will be, it will do crazy numbers. Mimes, clowns, it's in right now. That's the new meta. Okay, KO is ahead of its time, bro. What you're seeing before you is a rite of passage for all great heroes. A time skip. I've been in like the younger brother in this situation. Like my, my sister and like our friend just fucking with me, just gaslighting me because I'm gullible. They're just explaining anime to him now. They're like, um, so this is a thing called a time skip. It's pretty common in good shows. So I took off. I soon found myself in a wasteland of unspeakable terrors. He went on a cruise with his family. He got a tan. Is the store not open unless they're filming for the show or something? After endlessly searching through the cave's darkest depths, I'd finally unearth the grand mystic relic. Not for use on skin. Isn't this cultural appropriation? Of who? Orange people? He's just doing orange body right now. Took a genjutsu class at the local community college, which is full of impressive ninjas and training by the way. She went to Mime 101 by accident. She went to community college. Oh, so she is in college. Aha! A perfect opportunity for us to show you! Oh, Woo! Look how excited she looks. Rad's gonna get a skin disease. He probably already does. He definitely has skin cancer. There's absolutely no question. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've kind of like been zoning out for the past 60 seconds because like, how do I not get distracted when the music is just doing its own thing? You know what I mean? Like I could just listen to an episode of OKKO OK with none of the characters talking and it's still the most entertaining thing ever. Oh my God. He turned into the end of the SpongeBob movie, bro. Where's David Hasselhoff, bro? You've become a grotesque sun-dried orange. And you? are a useless, unfunny clown. I'm not a stinking clown! <laughs> <laughs> That's hitting deep, bro. I'm kind of funny, Rad. You are a worthless, unfunny clown. He just peeled off his entire body. He has like a different set of clothes underneath and everything. He was like wearing a skin suit. He's like a snake. He just shed off his skin. It was just like every summer with my mom. I ate oatmeal for breakfast every day, the same way I always do. Wait, 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 they're dating? They saved the biggest reveal for the end! Gore, let's go! This is awesome. Hey, you guys, I think my mom and Mr. Gar might be... Dating. <laughs> Gar is pulling, dude. I support this man. Daryl made the front page. Boxmore sales skyrocket under new leadership. Wait, so Daryl's actually just succeeding in his business? He's actually just good at his job. We kicked out his dad and there was actually profit. I wouldn't happen to be hearing y'all slacking off now, would I? To the chatter who asked if he is a Tumblr daddy yet, he is nowhere near Tumblr daddy level, okay? He'll get there soon. He's kind of like an apprentice daddy, Tumblr daddy.
No way, he's back. The sun shat him out. <laughs> Grateful little brats can't even be bothered to say hello, father. Bro, the god image in the background of him reaching out to himself. That's so good. Wait, his chair is made of himself. That's hard. He's sitting on himself. What did you say? This is into your factory. That frame is fucking beautiful. That looks like a corpse husband thumbnail. Saying it's so beautiful and then saying it looks... What are you talking about, bro? I'm off the goop. I don't know, man. <laughs> He's putting his dad to work. And he can't even do it. And since you love attacking the plaza so much, you're gonna do it for me. <laughs> Yo. Ha ha ha. They're just gonna beat up this old dude. Box man. More like a man in a box. <laughs> She's been reading too much Garfield, bro. That shit is not funny. Ever since she turned into a mime, she lost all her funny. What happened? Daryl is my son. I'm the daddy. I'm the daddy. Whoa, did he just say daddy? I haven't heard that since the last episode. <laughs> Yo, he's using his powers. Boxman was better off dead. Is that wrong to say? He was. I'm the one who failed Boxmore. <laughs> we never even met the board standards once when I was in charge. Wow, you should have been fired a very long time ago. Not once? How long were you working? How did he not get fired? Wait! Come back! And he never came back again. This is the last episode he was ever in. He never came back after. And then he killed himself. And then he killed himself, just like Judas. I'm installing something I'd like to call the Red Wing. This is not good. This looks like it's gonna work. This is my van. I built her with my own two hands. Balls. Did she say balls? I heard balls. I think she said false, but I don't know. The balls interruption is crazy. Oh. You wanted me to stay? Oh, this is a girlfriend, by the way, Eden. You you missed the last episode. This is Eden's gay girlfriend. So, is it her girlfriend who's gay? Or is it her girlfriend that's straight? Her girlfriend's gay as fuck. Hello, KO. Ah, Daddy! I heard your internal monologue. I would be happy to fix Rad's van. Yay! That's me whenever Dendi shows up. They play that whenever Dendi shows up now. It's really funny. Into something spectacular. <laughs> That's yours now. It's not mine anymore. Jesus, he has some insecurities. Why can't he work as a team, bro? He is acting irrationally. If he would simply allow me, I could fix it with ease. She's about to be like the strictest Asian parent ever. How do you make your mouth like that? I think we're too positive about the show. Let's start shitting on it. <laughs> Fuck this guy. I mean, it looks better, but it's still just a van. Why is her girlfriend in a different art style? Because she came from an anime, bro. Eden is the person who was obsessed with anime, and then she goes to anime to date an anime character. Are you suggesting what I think you are? You know I am. <laughs> It's a race. race! Dude, the anime face. They're different art styles. She's got an anime face, but her ears are still drawn with like the cartoon sphere. Three, two, one. Who is this Tumblr s***y man? I've seen him in the background in a few episodes. He's got it though. He is hot. Ooh, now that was cool. Do we want to play Birio Kart, but with this, like their race? For like the next like six minutes, you just drink straight without stopping. Yeah, we drink the entire time. Man. Dude, she, she is flying. Like, why did you enter this competition? You snuck into my van and messed with my stuff. Please, select me. I don't want your help. Oh my God, that was kind of fucked up. You destroyed an entire PS3, bro. That shit was worth like $5 now. Well, she's coming around the mountain. I'll be going over it. I'm a smart boy. Balls. 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 <laughs> this show is fucking good, man. I did it. I knew. This looks like Jimmy Neutron CGI right now. I kind of like it. Yay! Well, don't just sit there adorably. Help! You want my help? It's so cute the way that Dendi like looks up to Rad for absolutely no reasonable reason. He's fucking Jack. I may have made some more secret mods to your van. Dude, this is so cool. No, the, he just got the fucking the bullet at the end of the Mario Kart race after being in last the entire time. Well, just fucking cheating, basically. You won the race. No, Dendi. We won. Aw. But mostly I. But mostly me. Mostly I won the race. And now, the final touch. Perfect. 
It's your van though. You pay the insurance. She owns him now. He is a slave. If you guys want a little Dendi to follow you around, then uh, subscribe. Thanks to Aeromir. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, G3 Om, Gub, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Mirak55, Native5, Omega Waffles, by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.